Have a seat. Have a seat. Have some food. Hey, now. All right. So glad you could join us this morning. Glad to be here. Grateful to be here. It's a wondrous day. We have. Please be careful wherever you are. Hopefully, you're not in one of those places where it's really, really cold. However, if it is one of those places where it's really, really cold, I'm grateful to be here with you because utilizing our tools, it will enable you to warm your body and learn how to breathe in ways that can keep you warm even as it gets cooler outside. Okay, so we have some techniques that we'll go over just to manage this winter and talk about a couple of things towards the end. As usual, at the top of every time we get together, I welcome you to prove peace to you. We call it Ankh Ujjasaneb, life, health, and strength, and prosperity. And I am in Pukamut. And so what I got for us today is we're going to bow in with our shiasha. We're going to get into the Qigong and after some Asar stance. Again, our goal for the portion of the form that we are right now is to move the Asar stance to somewhere between 15 and 20 minutes. Got that? Somewhere between 15 and 20 minutes at a time. You can build up, do it in sections, but the goal is to be able to hit 15, 20 minutes in a SAR stance for where we are in the form. What we also want y'all to be able to do is knock out the Qigong. We have the videos up of the previous session, so you can go through and work through them on our YouTube channel in the event you get a little lost during the session. No worries if you do, we'll always circle back for you, give you a good summary at the end. So we'll get our session today and we're going all the way to what we call the second brush knee. And for those of you following at home or whatever, we're also utilizing a book that we call from Grandmaster Dalu, it's called Tai Chi Chuan and the I Ching. And here is a cover of what the second edition looks like. So you can kind of get a vibe, right? This is the second edition. I got multiple editions. I'm looking for a copy of the one that most people see real quick. And I don't have it at the desk. But here's like a, one of the hard copies. And you can check those out because that gives you Grandmaster Dalu's perspective on what the position should look like as we're moving through them. And for those that want to practice with them, it affords you the opportunity to slow it down and look at the static photo in each of the different positions. One of the things that I do through teaching the course is the book is helpful, the book can be useful. What I, the way that I add value is that what we do is this is a living, moving, breathing art and course. And so there are things that I'm doing here that if you did not take a course from Grandmaster Dalu, one of his students, there are things that were done after the books were published. All right, so we got that. We get our Qigong, we do our, we do our alternate nostril breathing. We begin to our wisdom from the sages of the ages and then we bow out, all right? So that should get us through a brief adumbration of what we're going to be doing today in the class. Hopefully everybody's ready. All right, let's hit it. Get to a spot where we can get it in. All right. All right so we'll start with Wuchi position. Give us for me a 90 degree angle, bottom tucked, shoulders relaxed, head level. Bring the hands in the pyramid hands as we bow in. We say to all the masters that have gone before us, we bow. Teacher to student, student to teacher. Pyramid hands. Shifting all the way to the right leg, come up on the left toes, 
Stepping left, a little bit wider, shoulders width, heel first. Sit down on those legs. Remember, we're using the bellows breathing. Open the hands into the Asar stance position. Our goal is to do 20 breaths. So let's get to it using the bellows breathing.
Get a little deeper for four more breaths. German hands. Shift all the way to the right and slide that left foot in the Wuchi position. Good. Shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. You know, shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. Excellent. Excellent. Get back into the Wuchi position. Keep your bellows breathing going, breathing through the nostrils only. Pyramid hands. Again, shift the weight to the right up on the left toes. Stepping left, a little wider than shoulders width, heel first, balance the weight. Two breaths here. Palms up as we're holding the golden orbs in each palm. Palms up, toes, knees, and hands all pointing in the same direction. Rotate the palms into oneness. Palms are facing the floor. Wrists are higher than elbows. Breathing into the turtle, chin down. Out to the drawbridge. Point the hands between the legs, chin down. Into oneness. Grab it through the sheet. Into oneness. Now 
Elbows. Stay with me. Pick up the pace. Keep the shoulders relaxed. And the oneness. Right hand on top of left hand, palms up, palms touching, arms and hands not touching the body. Rotate the left hand on top, right hand underneath, left hand on top, palms facing each other. You want to see a ball of golden white light like the sun in between the palms of the hands. Arms and hands not touching the body, shoulders relaxed. Enter oneness. Into the turtle. Out to the drawbridge. Point the hand between the legs. Enter oneness. Pyramid hands. Shifting all the way to the right, slide the left foot in the Wuchi position. Shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. All right, feet parallel, shoulders width. Into the cop position. Two breaths. Palms facing forward, two breaths. Shifting all the way to the left, picking up the right toes and pivot 45 degrees. 
Step down onto the right foot, shifting the weight up on the left toes. Stepping forward with the left, shifting all the way forward. Pivot, shift all the way back to the right leg as the hands come forward. Right hand in front of the heart, left hand out in front of the forehead, all the way on the left leg, bottom tucked, four breaths. Shifting the weight back, step, pivot on the right foot, feet are straight and parallel. Slowly bring the hands down, bring them up as we go into the gathering. Interlace the fingers, palms outward, heart level. I'm gonna raise the hand towards the heavens eight times, coming up on the balls of the feet. And then bring the hands down and go on the swinging arms. Let them swing. All right, second down. Open the chest and stretch the back five times.
And our last one. As in shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. Feet parallel, shoulders width. Okay. Hands out. Gonna breathe in, bring that right hand up. Gonna exhale, exchange hands. In, out. In, out. In, out. Keep the left hand up as you breathe in. Breathing out, turning to the right. Breathing in, turning to the left. Breathing out front and center. Breathing in, hands up. Breathing in some more, hands further, a little more. Feel the lungs. Turn to the right. Turn to the left. Front and center, exhale. Shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. All right, feet together, palms, the sides, feet parallel, shoulders width. You're gonna breathe in, palms facing you. And as you exhale, let the arms fall. Inhale, palms facing you, let the hands fall. Palms facing outward, inhale, and let them fall. Inhale, and let them fall. Excellent. All right. Now, you're going to turn so that your right leg faces the camera. So that way, you're going to bring your hands out here like so. You're going to do a brief Tai Chi walk. OK, you're going to shift all the way to that right leg. You're going to pick up the left. You're going to exhale. Step forward, keeping shoulders width apart. Shift the weight as you exhale. And inhale, bringing up the right leg as high as you can. Step forward and you exhale. Bring up the left. Sit it down. See, I'm a little space challenge, so let's bring it up. Put it down, then we turn around. And again, hands are out here. Shift the weight to the right. Breathing in, you're gonna pick up that left. Step forward, heel first. Feel the ground underneath the feet as you step. Keeping the bottom tucked. All right, shake it out. Opposite hand, opposite leg. All right, Uchi position. Pyramid hands. Shift all the way to the right upon the left toes, stepping to the left, heel first. Drop the right hand beneath the navel. Turn the left hand out like so. You're gonna shift the weight to the right, turn the waist and take that right hand, that left hand, excuse me, past the eyes. And we're turning to the right here, drop it down. So now coming across the heart level as you shift the weight to the left, keeping the bottom tucked, turn the palm up. You're gonna shift the weight back to the right as the hands exchange. Shift the weight to the left and it comes across, hand comes down. 
We shift the weight back. We shift and exchange hands. We're gonna do it one more time. Full series. Heart level, exchanging hands. Eye level, heart level, exchanging hands. One more. And stop, bring it back to the center. Pyramid hands. Shifting the weight to the right leg, sliding the left foot in the wuchi position. All right, shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. All right, here we go. Deep parallel, shoulders width. Sinking down, sunrises. And sun sets as it comes over the mountain. Sunrises over the mountain. And the sun sets. Warding off right and left, four breaths. Here we go.
You can go right out in the four breaths to grasp the bird's tail and stroke it. Stepping back, pivot on the right heel, bring the hands down, sun rises over the mountain and sunsets. Again. All right, shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. All right, feet parallel, shoulders width. We're gonna go all the way to the second brush knee. Complete flow through. Then you wanna go from one end to the other slowly. Go each movement sinking down as you exhale. Inhale and the sun rises over the mountain. All right, shake it out. Shake it out. Good job. Okay. We're going to do it again. And as we do it again, what I'm going to do is prep you for the next series, which is called Circle Fist or Parry and Punch. And I'm just gonna show it to you at the end after we get through doing this a couple more times. Here we go, sink it down, flow to the second brush knee.
right? So circle fist is gonna look like this. We'll come up, I'm gonna bring up this right foot and sweep. Come forward with the parry. And here's the punch. All right. So again, we take it so we get it. So we're here at the second breast knee. Comes back, circle fist. Bring it up, parry. And the punch. Got it. All right. So that's what it looks like as we move on. So now we're gonna, you've seen that part, we're gonna go through one last time with the uh, flow all the way to the second breast neck, sinking down, sunrises. All right, shake it out, opposite hand, opposite leg. All right, now, I want you to grab a seat real quick. We'll get into our alternate nostril breathing exercises. Right hand on top of the thigh, thumb and index finger touching, palm up. Take the left hand like so. Thumb blocks off the thumb, middle index finger to the center of the forehead. Breathing in. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Five breath. Deep breath in. Release. Standing hands, no breath. Breathing in. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Five breath. Deep breath in. Release. Both hands, palms up, thumb and index fingers touching. Breathing in. Out. In, out, in, out, in, out. Fire breath. Deep breath in, chin down, release, palms down, breathing in and out, in, 
out through the mouth and through the nostrils, out through the mouth and through the nostrils, out through the nostrils and nasal breathing only out and and out. All right. Now we're going to get right into the wisdom from the sages of the ages. Here we go. Today, we'll be reading a selection from teachings of Patah Hattah. All right. Clear the mind. Okay. If you want to have perfect conduct, to be free from every evil, then above all, guard against the vice of greed. Greed is a grievous sickness that has no cure. There is no treatment for it. It embroils fathers, mothers, and the brothers of the mother. It parts the wife from the husband. Greed is a compound of all the evils. It is a bundle of all hateful things. That person endures whose rule is rightness, who walks a straight line. For that person will leave a legacy by such behavior. On the other hand, the greedy has no tomb. All right. I want to thank you all for your participation and movement with us today. Hopefully you got something you really enjoyed from our movements today. So as you see, as we're going through, we're gonna add wrinkles here and there to shift up how the class flows, just to make sure that you get what you need and I'm getting what I need in terms of building your body for the short form. All right. So with that, I wanna say, Dua, thank you, Hatsupu, peace unto you. Ankh Uja Seneb, life, prosperity, health, and strength. And we bow out, saying to all the masters that have gone before us, we bow. Teacher to student, student to teacher, Ashe, giving praise and honor to the ancestors, the elders, those who have shown the light and the pathway for us, that we may move in a direction of correctness and rightness. Bearing witness and praises to the eternal witness of the earth and sky, I bid you a tap. Peace. Enjoy the rest of your day. Catch up with you soon.